क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ड्रा अ लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी ऑफ लेंथ एट सेंटीमीटर सो विद लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी वी हैव टू ड्रा एट सेंटीमीटर ओके सो लेट मी टेक विद एट सेंटीमीटर सो फ्रॉम हियर आई एम ड्राइंग दैट इज एट सेंटीमीटर लेंथ वी हैव टू ड्रा अक्यूरेटली आई एम डूइंग दिस राइट एडिटेड and next uh, what they said taking a as a center so they said a b na so i'm giving this is my a point next this is my b point and total length we know very well that is what 8 cm later we will write that so this is a point and this is b point okay children next uh, draw a circle of radius 4 cm uh, i mean uh, from a as a center we have to draw the circle of 4 okay so we take a compass 4 cm circle we have to draw so first you measure 4 cm in the compass now you take the compass keep in the a point a point you just keep it and draw the circle of radius 4 so already we measured in the compass you just draw one circle with the 4 cm that's it we did it and next what they said the point you see here next what they said Uh, from b as a center b as a center we have to draw the uh, circle with 3 cm we have the i mean draw the circle with 3 cm as b as a center so you just take the compass measure the 3 cm 3 cm you just take okay we'll keep it some other place yeah 3 cm we have to measure we just measure it 3 cm yes it is 3 so let me take this 3 cm so i'm keeping the what is the compass edge in the b point now we'll draw the circle okay yes i'm going to draw the circle with the 3 cm yes actually one circle is a uh, what is that a 3 cm another one is a 4 cm so definitely in between we have 1 cm gap construct tangent to each other i mean each circle from the center of other circle for smaller circle for small circle if you want to draw tangent na we have to use another circle center point means a from a to here tangent like that for bigger circle you have to draw tangent na from b to tangent we need to draw that's it. that is the concept they tell you right now for that i'm going to draw bisector for ab okay for ab i'm going to draw that is the concept okay children right fine okay first let me draw the bisector line for this one for this i am taking bisector line for this right so we know very well from the a point from the external point to this circle i mean we are going to draw the tangent in the sense we must draw the bisector line for this okay so let me draw the bisector bisector in the sense more than half generally more than half we are taking so let me use a different color red color will use okay so more than half i am taking so from a and i am going to draw first one bisector line like this with the same radius sorry with the same radius bottom one so arc okay right take this uh, compass and keep it here like intersecting you just draw one small arc it is intersected ah uh, like that above above one arc so both are intersecting in the sense we just leave the compass now we'll join this together let me draw one line definitely it will uh, meet each other okay yeah that is meeting each other now it will make 90 degree it will make 90 degree with the ab line with the ab line so this is our required point what actually m so in the m point you just draw one circle that's it you just draw one circle as a radius we know very well what is that m to a and m to b now let me measure this this is this sum is very easy compared to other just measure the, uh, yeah we have a correct length na so i'm going to draw one circle now okay children so let me draw the circle so circle will use uh, what color yeah red color will use beta okay so i'm making one circle with this okay so this red color circle intersecting commonly both uh, the smaller one and bigger one so where it is intersecting that is our required point so let me write that so this is my required point tangent t and this one is a t dash that's it okay children so from b to t dash b to t you can join that's it 
like that here another one another one tangent now suppose i am taking this is p in the sense and here where is intersecting that is my p dash so like that i'm going to join okay so let me join this thing sir. so t2 what i said p t to p sorry little gap is there so t point to p okay like that t dash to b it's over huh? in same manner uh, let you draw a point to p okay in same manner a to what is that p dash so this is our required tangent we got it so if you are uh, feeling to join like a radius now you can join so but this is our required thing okay so let me go for the construction Con but we have a two different circle radius we have a different thing let me join first the radius so you just use a daughter line for that uh, in the bigger circle we know that is what 4 cm so here you just write a 4 cm ok this one is what 4 cm and the smaller circle we know that length that is 3 cm you just join that is also and that is what 3 cm right definitely radius always will make 90 degree with the tangent like that radius always make a 90 degree with the tangent so here uh, the justification I am dividing because we have a two I mean a two uh, tangent is there two different tangent that we will use first uh, A T B so in a triangle in a triangle A T B here T is a 90 degree so we know T is a 90 degree so 90 degree opposite the A B A B length here we have what is that 8 centimeter you just write here commonly 8 centimeter so A B square square of the hypotenuse which is equal to sum of the square of the other two sides so a t square plus uh, b t square b t square ok right a b value we have a 8 square which is equal to a t value that is they have given radius 4 and b t in the sense that is we need to find the length so 8 square we have what is that 64 and 4 square 16 if you bring this opposite negative which is equal to b t square now you subtract this together what i am getting 14 6 and uh, we are getting here um, 8 5 minus 1 i am getting 4 48 which is equal to b t the square comes to opposite root so what i am getting the square root of 48 you think 7 7 are 49 so definitely it will come approximately like 6.9 that's it okay so 6.9 centimeter approximately i am giving 6.9 because for 7 7 are 49 so one point i am reducing here that's it maybe 6.8 or 6.9 that's it that's what i am giving approximate value okay children right so better you give so 6.8 or 6.9 that's not a problem now next one i am going a p b so triangle in a triangle uh, what is that uh, a p b here p is a 90 degree p is a 90 degree now p i mean uh, the angle p opposite side is a ab here also so here also i'm doing a ab square which is equal to square of the pb pb that is a radius square plus uh, the length ap square the length of tangent is a ab square so ab value here we have a 8 square which is equal to pb value 3 so 3 square plus uh, ap square so when i am squaring this 64 3 square value 9 which is equal to ap square you subtract this together so what i am getting 55 which is equal to ap square so sorry the square comes to opposite now we know very well that is what a root okay children now we have to make a root value of 55 sometime if you are feeling uh, to find a root value now i will give one small idea this is ap length am i right you just measure the ap length with the compass that's it it's very easy to go just measure the ap length with the compass so exactly you just measure it what what we are getting like a 7.3 uh, or 4 okay so you just write there approximately 7 point because 7 7 are we know 49 so remaining 6 point is there so this is approximately 7.4 or 7.3 approximately you just write ap so if you are doing a long division already i told you in the previous sums how to find the square roots but this is the values if you measure that you you will get the same thing also you no need to uh, what is that uh, do like a square or a long things understand so that's it so this is the fifth one you please make a note the justification is very very important justification don't forget to do okay so this is our required justification for both justification you please make a note we'll go 